Hi, my name is Mike, and until 2016, I was a lifelong Republican. I don't think I'd ever voted for a Democratic candidate in, in my life. Uh, but in 2016, I was conflicted. Um, ultimately, I did vote for Hillary Clinton because uh, I thought that she would be more reliable, uh, steadier hand, and that's important in today's world. But it was a tough choice for me. Um, and I think I voted for mostly Republican candidates on the rest of the ballot. But, you know, here we are four years later, and it is no longer uh, a tough choice at all. In fact, I would vote for almost anybody but Donald Trump. Um, to watch what he and, and others have done to hijack the Republican Party, um, it's a struggle for me to, to, to vote for any Republican candidates. You know, what's ironic is that I actually agree with a number of Trump's policies, but he has been so inept uh, at their implementation that it, it's just been amazing to me. And when he came into office, he had a majority in both the House and the Senate, so he should have been able to get a lot done, but he bungled most of it. And beyond that, he has proven to be uh, both erratic and unreliable. In today's world, that is a very, very dangerous uh, combination in a president. But most importantly, and what I can never forgive or excuse, is what he has intentionally done to uh, divide uh, the people in this country. Uh, to me, the most basic responsibility of a president is to unite the people. And he has done exactly the opposite. And I think that it will take years to repair the damage that he's done. So in 2020, uh, simple choice for me, absolutely Joe Biden.